spoken word. Not exactly poetry, not exactly speech, not exactly drama. And herein lies the dilemma. It doesn't fit neatly into the judging criteria. It doesn't conform to the norm of what you have expected to see performed at Nifka. If this piece had a headmaster, it probably would have been suspended long time for breaking rules not so clearly divine, for not, not towing the line. The headmaster would probably send this piece home for reasons as silly as like, the author of this piece here, like a home. <laughs> but this piece is a revolutionary piece in the spirit of Gil Scott Heron. But this time the revolution will be televised, just not commercialized because it's not commercial. It is, however, controversial. So it will never become an advertising jingle nor a number one billboard hit single. It's all about bringing power to the people. And as the great poet Eru once said, we can no longer allow ourselves to be sheep pulled. So let this piece be shouted from way on top of the steeple on all radios, magazines, TVs, and in every mass media. If you are looking for this piece, you can find it in the encyclopedia. Under Freedom Fighter, under Lumumba, Kenyatta, Ashantiwa, Bussa, and Nat Turner. This piece is a mental and spiritual plantation burner. This piece is a church, and I ring in the bell out. It will not backslide, conform, nor sell out. When temptation comes upon this piece, it will say behind me, Satan, get the and many will want this piece to chill and mellow because they misunderstand this piece. They will say that it is overboard and exaggerated. They fear that it will cause riots and social unrest to be instigated. They call this piece angry and frustrated. But this piece is not vex. This piece is not naturally violent. But this piece can't stay silent, can't afford to be passive, not when the gap between what is and what should be is so massive. It has got to be aggressive, aggressive in shaking away the sleeping masses who have allowed themselves to be ridden like asses. It has got to be forceful, forceful in forcing the full potential of its people to fulfillment. This piece is a filament and it will not stop until it heats up and dormant spirits leap up, rising from the ashes and the glass ceiling smashes. I know that there are some who this piece causes to become uncomfortable. They get miserable and agitated. Their inflated egos are pierced and their guilty consciences lacerated when they see their hidden crimes excavated and their victims liberated. This piece is all about bringing comfort to the afflicted and affliction to the overcompensated. And their gated communities. Their gated communities can't keep out this peace. Not a yard nor a watchman can stop it. Whether wall, hill, or mountain, you name it, this peace can hop it. In fact, this peace should be called Samson because they try to tie it down with all kinds of rope and no matter what kind of rope they bring, this peace pop it. Some of you will not want to accept this peace. This is a peace that many of you will want to be Refuse, but no, you may not be excused. Don't care how you cuss, carry on and abuse. Well, all you want is DJs playing hard tunes and hailing up crews, huh? All you want is a piece to make you hold your belly and laugh and keep you amused, huh? Well, if that's what you want, if that is what you really want, take this. If this piece was to shoot you, what would it use? <laughs> a pistol. was to get sick and go to the doctor, what would it receive? A prescription! If this piece is not vexed, what then is it? Peace off, man! When I let down, when I let down, but that what this piece for, this is a serious piece, serious as a judge. And when I try to push this piece off course, this piece won't budge. It has got a job to do and it is determined to do it. Nobody can make it cease, stop, nor desist. Not even the police, cause this piece ain't no journalist. This piece was inspired by Muta Baruka to use my mouth as a bazooka to blast injustices and inconsistencies to pieces from all the cracks, corners, and crevices. This is a hard-working piece, 100% local labor. It ain't got no godfather, and nobody never did this piece a favor. Yet there are some who would like you to believe that this piece is second-rate and somehow lacking. I feel like they had the way they would import Chinese pieces and send this piece back in.
But don't hear how they come attacking this peace. This peace maintains its peace in the midst of chaos and confusion. So no politician can tell if this peace head don't care when they call the election. This is an all-purpose peace. It can be bombastic, comedic, and even romantic. Yes, this peace has a heart. Because when you meet this peace, your mind will not be able to delete this peace and it will be till death do you part. The listener is the bride and this peace is the groom and when they are joined in holy matrimony, consciousness starts to bloom. pieces of your ancestry still locked in slavery. Every suppressed memory is exposed. You start to go into hyper mode. You feel as though you're going, you're going to explode. When you try to hold on to this piece, cause this piece travels at the speed of light and there is no end in sight. It cannot be created nor destroyed like energy and it feeds upon the synergy between you and it, which is why you must not quit this piece. You are an integral part of the puzzle that fits this piece. Right smack dab in the middle of your destiny sits this piece. That's why them who like to try a hostile takeover or a benevolent by you ain't want nothing with this piece. We put our blood, sweat, and tears in this piece. We lay down all of our fears in this piece. So whether they come with $5, $8.50, or $10, we ain't selling no shares in this piece.